Hey guys, if you are watching this video, that means you want to learn robotics and you want to build amazing robots. Well, don't worry guys, you have come to the right place. Here, in this video, I'll be giving you important tips and steps that you must follow that are critical when getting started with robotics. If you are a beginner, these are a must. So, let's get started. And by the way, in our channel, you will find a lot of amazing robotics tutorials for you guys. So, make sure you check that out. The first thing that you need to keep in mind is, you need to understand and learn the basics of programming. Robotics without programming is ineffective. So, learning a programming language is crucial. The recommended starting languages are C++ and O Python, which are essential for electronics, audio programming, and many modern technologies that use Python. At this point, you should be familiar with Arduino and Raspberry Pi, right? If you are not, don't worry guys, we will get to that. Arduino and Raspberry Pi are microcontroller and microprocessor boards that will act as brains for our DIY robots. In the case of Arduino, we will be using a derivative of C++, but in the case of Raspberry Pi, we can use Python to create scripts and control the robots. You need to understand the difference between natural languages and machine languages and the importance of compilers to translate programming languages into machine language so the computer can understand and execute the code. The Arduino board is a user-friendly microcontroller board that's going to be really really useful for you guys in the field of DIY robotics. All you have to do is download and install the Arduino IDE for programming the Arduino board. Then set up the Arduino board, connect it to your computer and configure it within the Arduino IDE. If you are not familiar with Arduino and if you want to learn more about it, we have a complete dedicated video tutorial for Arduino where we explain different aspects of Arduino platform, the Arduino sketch, the Arduino board, as well as the Arduino ID. So make sure you check that out. The next thing is, you need to make sure that you understand the basics of electronics. Electronics is the foundation. Without the foundation of robotics, we cannot move forward. You have to learn how the basic components like resistors, transistors, capacitors, they all work and how they all work together to make meaningful and useful circuits. Like for example, turning on a bulb connected to a relay when the reading from a photoresistor goes below a certain threshold. Next, you need to learn how different kinds of sensors work, how the actuators work, for example, DC motors, servo motors, all these kinds of motors that are used in robotics. And after that, you need to learn how to get readings from the sensors to the microcontroller and control the DC motor or servo motor or whatever actuator you are using with respect to the value that we got from the sensor. And this is the actual base of robotics. Once you get to this point, congrats. At this point, you should be able to make your own small small robots with or without microcontrollers. You should be able to build your own simple robots like line follower robots with just l 2 and 3 d motor driver IC and some light sensors without using any microcontrollers at all. Or you can start building and programming your own robot using Arduino. But the thing is, you have to be patient and persistent. Alexa, you always have to keep in mind that failures are stepping stones to success. Start with simple projects and gradually advance to more complex ones. There are many online tutorials for this and you can check our channel where we have uploaded many robotics tutorials that explain everything in simple language for everyone to understand. So congrats guys, there is your first robot. But the thing is, we are still not there yet. We still need to improve our skills. You have to take online courses to learn C++ and Python as they are super powerful tools. Instead of getting robotics car kit, for example, PyCar, a Lego Uno car kit, Mbot Neo, PyCrawler, and there are so much more. These kits include all necessary sensors, motors, other hardware and educational materials that will help you familiarize yourself with robotics. But you have to keep a few things in mind before getting started with anything. Understanding the basic before moving on to advanced topic is very very important. If you are interested in furthering your knowledge in robotics, keep learning and practicing continuously to become proficient in robotics engineering. We have more videos to help you advance from beginners to expert in robotics. Okay guys, now you are ready to go to the next video of this robotics journey. Let's get started.